Um, in terms of assessment, I think there's probably some questions on sort of what do those numbers mean? I don't, Paula, did you want to throw up the um, that screen? Yeah. I think you had a screen capture of one of the score screens there. I do, yeah. Um, let me just bring this up. Um, or do you want to bring this one up? Yeah, I'll yeah that one I think is, is helpful. So um, uh, when you do your assessments, I mean, our, our recommendation is that you find sort of a consistent time of day that you would do them in. Um, I, I would I would also recommend um, that you kind of pick a time that's kind of, hey, this is sort of my normal, I'm feeling good, um, kind of to run them. Um, if you if you run your assessment and you are you know didn't sleep the night before, um, your numbers are going to be you know way off of your of your baseline and and significantly impacted. Um, it is quite sensitive to um, you know to that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, so I would say I would say pick a consistent time of day. You know, wait. You know, if you, if you're feeling really off, if you're sick. Um, just wait till you're feeling a bit better to run your assessment. That's okay to 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 wait a couple of days and then run it. Um, in terms of the in terms of the actual numbers, um, thinking speed we're breaking down into three parts. And if you hit the info button, you'll get more information. Um, but sometimes it's helpful just to hear somebody talk about it. So um, perception, that number is the timing of when your brain actually sees that there's something new in the environment that it is pay, needs to pay attention to. So it's it's sort of that, you know, oh, there's, you know, something changed. So when the the lights flash on the genius pulse controller and the arrows show up, it's just your brain saying there's something there. Uh classification uh that's going to be your brain identifying what it saw and classifying it uh and saying, "Hey, you know, that's a left arrow." Processing is your brain then turning that identification and saying, I'm going to do this. I'm going to press a button. I'm going to not press a button. Um, and then obviously physical reaction time is your physical pressing of the buttons. Um, the difference between your normal reaction time and your distracted reaction time, the distracted value is when the, uh, the middle arrow is pointing a different direction than the outside arrows, which are the distractions. Um, so the accurate difference between overall accuracy and distracted accuracy is the same thing. Um, streak is obviously how many times in a row you get, you, you know, do the correct answer. Um, self-regulation is really interesting. I, I think, you know, it's a bit tricky to sort of describe what these things are. Um, but there's, it's kind of cut off on the screen, but the bottom two numbers on the left, the far left is air perception and then air awareness. Um, you can think of those similarly to uh, the thinking speed, perception, and classification. Um, so error perception, when you when you uh, push the wrong button, uh, your brain is aware of it. And in fact, uh, while you're physically moving your thumb to press the button, you've already made the decision, um, your brain's already starting to perceive that you've made a mistake. Uh, it's why sometimes you actually like can like pull your thumb off and realize, oh, I mean, I'm, that's not the right answer. And you can kind of correct yourself midway. Um, so that's your brain going, something's wrong. Um, you actually, it actually takes a little bit longer before your, your brain actually brings that mistake to your consciousness. Um, so that's what awareness is. Um, post air correction is another kind of interesting one. So that's in milliseconds as well. Um, that's actually after you make an error, you actually want to slow down a little bit. It's a natural thing that your body does to correct. And so it's actually your sort of how much you slow down in reaction time on subsequent tests, like uh, flashes of the arrows after you've made a mistake. And it's a good thing for that to be positive, um, to slow down a little bit. Um, so that's really sort of, you know, high level on what those numbers are. Um, Thanks, Corey. Yeah. I'm always, I'm always really impressed in how much you know about event related potentials because it's such a niche field. And yeah, it, we, it is really interesting. Worked, yeah. It is super interesting. It, um, and we worked really closely with Dr. Tato Sakatsi, yeah. uh, who's a neuroscientist out of Duke. He's also president of FNNR, which is a foundation for research in, on the brain. 
And, um, and so we took this test very seriously. We did not just make it up. It's based on uh, event related potentials and specifically it's based on uh, the flanker test, um, which is one of the more complex tests to implement. So that's why we started with that one. Um, so we will very likely add more tests. Um, you know, for people who are asking about roadmap, we'll be adding more event related potential tests and other types of tests. Um, for, for people who are interested in, in nerding out on the numbers. Um, mm -hmm. And what's interesting here, that processing speed, that that pink number, 315, uh, we were talking before about how the, the neural feedback loop is faster than the speed of thought. That's that's pretty much what we're talking about, faster than your speed of processing um, is, is where how fast the feedback is. So our feedback is around 250 milliseconds on the neural feedback training. Whereas on the Genius Pulse test, we are at one one millisecond precision, um, which is you know quite um, quite remarkable uh, for a mobile at home device self serve. So uh, over time, because I know these numbers can be a little bit ungratifying, um, uh, what we're going to be able to do is benchmark these numbers uh, within our our community. So you're going to be able to see. Um, you know, this is how I'm, my performance is on thinking speed, for example, um, compared with other, you know, other people, my age in my, dem my, uh, geography. So I think people tend to like a little bit of competition and, and just some, some sort of measurement. So I think that'll kind of make it come alive a bit more.